All right, what's up, everybody? It's Reclaimer, and welcome to Season 3 of Zero to Hero. You know what I just realized? I haven't changed my service tag. But yes, Zero to Hero is back. I was uh, not planning on continuing it after Season 2, but due to popular demand, uh, I'm going to bring it back for a third season, but we're going to be mixing it up a little bit. So, instead of just going from a brand new account all the way to Onyx in HCS, we're going to do it in free-for-all as well. So I'm thinking we could do, uh, you know, we could do a mixture of, of like, we could do one HCS game and one free-for-all game per episode, or we could do uh, HCS one episode and free-for-all the next. Whatever you guys want to do, leave me some suggestions in the comments, and also leave me some suggestions for, like, challenges or something that you'd say for uh, each individual episode. Like, we could do, like, Magnum only, Melee, or, well, Melee only would be a little bit hard, but, like, I can't touch power weapons or power ups for an episode or something like that. You know, whatever. Just leave me suggestions like that in the comments and we'll see what we can do. But I'm trying to mix it up while still keeping that whole zero to hero thing going on. So I think for this episode, we'll probably play one game of FFA and one game of HCS. So we'll go ahead and jump into a game of free for all. Free for all, of course, will be a little bit more difficult because it's not HCS setting. So I'm not really all that used to it. I've been playing pretty much nothing but HCS in order to prepare for this event. Uh, we're going to DreamHack Atlanta. In less than a month, for those of you that aren't aware, it's July 21st through 23rd, and we, all of the Chaotix guys are going to be there. Uh, there will be information on our team soon, but uh, just know that I will be competing at that event, and you will see some familiar faces on that team. Uh, so we're going to be competing uh, in Atlanta in less than a month, so uh, if you want to make plans to come out and say hi to us, of course, we're going to talk more about it uh, when we get a little bit closer to the event, but uh, yeah, just... Uh, been playing a whole lot of HCS, just trying to grind to get prepared for that event, so, uh, but I do want to get back into free-for-all, and I figured that this might be a little bit easier than just firing up Road to Champion again, and of course we would get this map for our first map, and whatever, at least it's our first, so we'll get the, get the bad maps out of the way, hopefully, but yeah, uh, I'm really looking forward to this season, doing Zero to Hero this way, I think it's going to be a lot of fun, I think it's going to be uh, a good change of pace from what we, uh, from what we have been doing. So I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully it goes well. Hopefully it's not too difficult. And I really hope that I don't hit free-for-all Onyx in like six or seven episodes. Or even maybe less than that. Because free-for-all is pretty notorious for being like stupid easy to get to Onyx. At least it was. I'm not sure if anything's changed since the last time uh, I went to Onyx in FFA and free-for-all. But... Uh, free-for-all has always been pretty easy not to win but to rank up so uh, yeah well hopefully that I don't end up finishing one super early and then just having to play the rest of the series out with with one playlist although that, that wouldn't be super bad but you know whatever and of course we could you know I'm a little hesitant to do this for obvious reasons but if you wanted to see me do it in like SWAT or Breakout or Slayer or even the Team Arena playlist, of course I'm hesitant for more obvious reasons to do that, but we could we can continue on doing Zero to Hero that way and just try to do as much content as possible, you know? So, just shit. I'm gonna try to milk here. So yeah, definitely let me know and let me know what you guys wanna see because I am open to suggestions, but definitely let me know, and I'll see what I can do, because I'm all about trying to come up with different ideas to make things fun and keep things fresh. No? Where'd that guy go? There's a guy, like, right there. But, of course... I have to say this at the beginning of, of every season. Uh, these first couple episodes are going to be a little bit more easy for me. And no, it's not because I'm talking trash about the players. It's just because, as I'm sure you all are aware, I am generally an Onyx to Champion tier player in every playlist. And, you know, I'm a competitor and I've been to events, so on and so forth. So... Kind of looks like a headshot to me, but whatever game. That kind of looks like a body shot to me, but whatever game. Oh, and then I choked a five. Come on. 
Yeah, see, that's probably going to get, that's probably what's going to be the most frustrating thing about trying to do this in FFA or other playlists if we end up doing that down the road. It's having to deal with the, uh, the assault rifle. I'm sure you guys all know our opinions on that. And before somebody says it, because I'm going to be using ARs and I'm going to be using autos whenever we play this playlist, before somebody says it, uh, you talk trash about it all the time, and how come you're, you're such a hypocrite, you're going to sit there and say that ARs are bad, and then you're going to use them. If a playlist has ARs or autos, I'm not about to not use them and put myself at like an intentional handicap. Because that would be stupid, and I'm not going to do that. Hopefully you understand that. If you don't, I honestly don't know what to tell you. But I am not going to sit here and handicap myself. Like I said, I'm not going to sit here and make it harder for me to win just so I can have some sort of moral high ground, right? I'm not going to, of course, I've never been one to hoard the storm rifles of the SMGs and sit in corners all game. But if I happen to pick up a storm rifle and people keep running at me and I keep getting kills, then please don't yell at me. Or you can, but I'll just yell at you back and say mean things about your sister. Sure, you guys have all seen that happen before. But yeah, we are not off to like a super massive lead. I'm gonna chalk that up to me being a little bit rusty. And free for all. I haven't really. I don't know if you guys remember when. Holy shit! The last free for all road to champ video I made. I don't if you. I don't know if you guys like remember when that was, but that was like like a long time ago. I'm talking like April. Something like that. And and the last Road to Champ video I made was the last time that I... Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, the last time I made a Road to Champ video was the last time I played it. So. Yes, do it. Challenge me. Oh, I choked. That's unfortunate. Yeah, these guys are, like, not bad. So, I need to actually turn up and try to, w try to win here because I don't want to... Free-for-all has never been my best game type, so I wouldn't expect a miraculous stream of first place finishes in this playlist from me, or in this series, I mean. Holy shit, later. That was actually really nice. Somebody quit. Hopefully it wasn't the kid that I just fived. I feel really bad about that. Oh, pulse nades. I didn't miss those. Alright, I need to stop, like, hiding down low. I need to try to actually take angles with this snipe. Positioning. I've always... I've always considered myself to have a really good sniper shot, and I can pull off some pretty... some pretty cool things with it. But my problem has always been positioning. And where is everyone on this map? I don't even hear gunfire. That was close. Shit, dude. I mean, kinda. Shot's a little bit off today. Oh, whoa, I just whirlwinded there. Whatever. Alright, we now have a 9 kill... Er, math, bro. Jesus Christ. 8 kill lead on the guy in second place. So I think we're doing pretty alright. Only one person quit, but it got super, like, slow-paced there for a second. It's kind of weird. I'll probably just wait top center for the sniper. Nice. Yeah, bottom center. I'm gonna get this and just dip. Mmm, dude. I'm like, I'm expecting people to strafe, so I'm, I feel like I'm. I do that a lot. I expect people to strafe, so I like over swipe. So when people run at me in straight lines with ARs, I like miss easy shots. That. Alright, the first time I shot that kid in the face was a headshot. Or the first time I shot that kid with my magnet was a headshot. Game didn't think so, but trust me, I shot him in the face. 
Wipers down top open. Let me get back to it. See if we can hit a couple nice shots to end this game off. Double. Not gonna get the triple in there. Okay, that kid was lagging. I'm not gonna talk about that. Hello? What? Okay, did he turn around or is that a different guy? What's happening? Alright, I'm done fucking around. I'm trying to end this. Alright, well, that was interesting. So I guess that's a no on the uh, nice shots to end the game off. We are in very comfortable position now, so I would not worry, ladies and gentlemen. Later, kid. You suck. Alright, trick shot final kill cam? Huh? Jesus, man. <laughs> that was nice. Alright, well, that is, that's it for our first game of FFA. That was probably a little bit more rough than it could have been, but... We still got the job done with a 25 to 8 final score. Now, we get to go ahead and jump into our first game of HCS. I'm really, you know what? I'm kind of liking this idea of playing multiple playlists. I don't know. I don't know how everybody else is feeling about it, but I think I think this is going to be a fun series. I don't know about you guys, but I'm really excited, but I'm going to skip this little wait time and I'll no, oh, well, we found a server. All right, but yeah. Hopefully, we do pretty well. Please don't give me strongholds. Please give me slayer. And we got strongholds. All right. Well, just got to deal with it, I guess. We're going to see how we do. Hopefully, we don't get a, too many because a, a big problem last season and still, like, in the game, like, a problem in the game is, like, starting games in 3v4 situations. I don't know if you guys have noticed that a lot, but, like, I don't know why. It only happens in HCS for me, but it's probably one out of every five games and sometimes even more frequently than that which is honestly ridiculous is it'll start it in a 3v4 for either team and it's it's pretty ridiculous and i don't understand how that's like still a problem in this game but it's kind of absurd that that's even a thing and obviously it's a free unless you're playing slayer and unless the three kids that are by themselves are actually trying then it's pretty much a free win for the other team Objective game types are absolutely no contest. And, uh... What's it called? Damn it, I wanted that triple. Honestly, like, my thought when I got that 10 shot was that I was going to go for the triple perfect, but whatever. Can't have them all, I guess. We are off to a very nice start of this game, though. I thought I needed ammo for a second, I'm not sure why. But yeah. Oh god. Dude, the spanker rockets suck in this game. I like... It's not something that you notice if you don't spend all of your time playing like HCS. And like timing and... And like leading your shots and stuff isn't important to you, but... It's something that you notice. Like they made the change from the Halo 5 rocket launcher to the Spanker rockets in this playlist, which is a, a change that I agree with because the original rocket launcher was probably a little bit too easy. But dude, the Spanker rockets in this game are so bad. It's terrible. The rockets shoot so slow, it's ridiculous. Like next time, next time you guys get a chance in like Warzone or custom games or whatever, you end up trying it out on shoot a regular Halo 5 rocket launcher and then try to play with the spanker rockets and just like see how different it is. It's actually crazy. 
Rocket's about to come up. That means power weapons soon after that, or power ups, I mean. I'm literally just gonna sit down here. Obviously, since we spawned red, we got the OS first, and since I was first down here, I know what time it is. The next OS is gonna be at 52. Kind of killing frenzy. What the? Oh, I. Did you? Okay, he took my rockets. I was like really confused for a second. I didn't realize that I still had the initial rockets from the beginning of the game. Whatever. My teammate has them, and I now have overshield and OS. OS is 52, camo's 32. Should be pretty easy to remember. I am powered up though. I have literally everything on the map. Except for the rockets. Obviously. But this should be a pretty routine win if we keep playing like this. I know we had several episodes last season where we lost games that we probably shouldn't have lost. So I'm going to try to keep the uh, horrendous chokes to a minimum in this season. I don't know. What do you guys say? I think that's a pretty dandy idea. Nice. Okay, almost got team killed. Yes. Just get a running. Oh, I am 15 and 0. Holy shit. I heard the running riot thing and I was like, oof. He's still up here. We hold out like this. Might be able to go flawless. Oh shit, that only had three rockets in it. Nice. Let's cap this back real quick. Alright, and I think, unless I die in the next two seconds. Alright, so 20 and 0 for our first game of HCS. I think that's a better start than we had in either of the other two seasons of Zero to Hero. So, that is our first two games of Zero to Hero Season 3 Free for All and HCS. Had a nice little 20 and 0 game to get us started off there. Strongholds win, so we are 2-0 so far. But uh, yeah, that's going to do it for this episode. I hope you guys are excited for the new season of Zero to Hero, and I hope you guys are excited with these new changes. Obviously, like I said, leave me suggestions in the comments for what you guys would like to see in terms of challenges and the format of how this whole season is going to work. But yeah, that's going to do it for me today. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, a like's appreciated. Subscribe if you're new, and I will see you guys later.